Hey guys, it's Ryan G. Wright with DoHardMoney.com coming to you with a Just Ask Ryan question of the day. And today's question is, can I cash out refinance a rental property? Cash out refinance meaning you're getting cash as part of the transaction in the loan that you're actually getting. We're gonna cover that in detail. I'm taking it down to see my truck because the craziest thing happened as well. But if you have a Just Ask Ryan question of the day, type it in the comments below and I'd be more than happy to answer it. So um, this weekend, it snowed like crazy. And it was interesting because when you went outside, it looked brown. And so I'm like, this is, this is insane. Brown snow? What the heck happened? Well, my truck was outside and it got completely, it got completely demolished. If you can see all the, all this, it looks like I went through a tornado. Well, what actually happened here, I couldn't even see outside the windows. I've been trying to, so I'm, I'm gonna go to the car walk. Maybe you guys can come with me, but look at this thing, look. <laughs> so anyway, um, it's called brown snow. And what happened is the West Desert out here, and there was huge winds and it stirred up all this brown snow, or it stirred up, it stirred up all this uh, dust and dirt and all this stuff. And at the same time, a, a snowstorm came in and they collided with each other. So when it started snowing, it brought all this dirt with it. And, and then when everything melted, this was the results of this. So anyway, so let's talk about this. Um, this cash out refinance, yes, you can. Um, you have to be careful because not all lenders want to do a cash out refinance um, on a rental property, right? So a cash out refinance basically means you're getting money out of the transaction. Now they're going to look at a cash out refinance, even if you don't get cash, if you had a second loan or if you had um, something else on the property, they're going to count that as a cash out refinance. So for example, um, if you did repairs on the property and you put money into it, but you put it on your credit card and you wanted to get that paid off, they're going to consider that a cash out refinance. So anytime that a lender is lending more than what the existing loan is for, they're gonna consider that a cash out refinance in most cases. Meaning, let's say you owed $100,000 on a property and you went and got a loan for $100,000, that's called a rate and term refinance, okay? The reason why it's called a rate and term refinance is you are refinancing the rate, so your interest rate was 5% and now it's 2%, that's you're changing the rate, and then term means the length of the loan. So meaning you currently, you had your loan out, let's say you had it out for five years, so you owe 25 years more on your loan, but you're changing the term to go back to a 30 year term when you actually do that refinance. So if you want to get a rate and term refinance on a property, um, you can do that. But if you're getting more than what's owed on that initial loan, they typically consider that a cash out. Even if that cash is not going to you, if that cash is paying for money, let's say, like I say, if you got a credit card and you did a bunch of work on the property and you wanna pay that off as part of it, um, they're gonna consider that a cash out refinance. Now, the downside to a cash out refinance is they're gonna be more critical on the values. And the second thing is your interest rate is going to be higher. So that's the downside to a cash out refinance on a non-owner occupied property. The other downside you're probably gonna run into is there's not, there's less lenders wanting to do a cash out than, than on a rental property than there are that are willing to do just what's called a rate and term refinance. Now, the reason I bring this up and why this is really important for investors is one of the things you probably wanna do is do what's called a Burr deal. And a Burr deal means you buy the property with hard money and you also get the money to do the rehab as well. So if you're buying the property for 100 grand and it needs $30,000 worth of rehab, you're getting a loan for $130,000. And then you're fixing the property up, then you're putting a tenant inside the property, and then you're refinancing. The cool thing about this is that is a rate and term refinance. So for example, I just did a loan, um, it's on a duplex, and they, this is exactly what we did for them. We gave them the money for the purchase and we gave them money for the rehab. And now he's refinancing and it's a rate and term refinance. And he doesn't have to worry about cash out. He doesn't have to worry about justifying what he spent on the property. He doesn't have to worry about additional appraisals and that type of stuff. Again, not every lender is going to do that. And this is not a hard money lender that's going to do a rate and term refinance. This is a bank, a Chase Bank or Wells Fargo or your credit unions. I've had great success with my credit unions, my local credit unions, in actually doing refinances on uh, investment properties. And 
so I would kind of start there, but you've got to shop around just kind of locally for that. But you can use hard money on a national scale in order to get the purchase and get the rehab and get all of that in. So again, um, if you're getting a cash out refinance on a non-owner occupied investment property, you've got to be careful. Not all lenders are going to do it. So you're gonna have to check around to find somebody that will. And that's all you're going to ask them is, do you do a cash out on a non-owner occupied investment property? That's the question. If yes, then you talk to them. If no, then you've got to find somebody else that will. Secondly, you've got to be prepared that their values are something they're going to scrutinize your values. That's the thing you've got to realize. Uh, third, you've got to realize that your, your cost of funds, your rate that you're actually going to get is going to be much higher than what you were hoping it was going to be if you're just doing a regular. If you're getting a home for yourself and you're gonna live in it, that's the cheapest money you're gonna find. And then if you get a, a investment property, um, that's the next. And then if you do a cash out, that's gonna be a little more expensive, so it just kinda comes up. I wanna make sure I don't miss the car wash up here because this truck needs a wash. And the saddest thing about this whole thing, my dirty my, my dirty truck, is the, the day before, two days before, on Thursday, I washed my truck, I cleaned my truck, I made it all looking super good. And then on Saturday, this whole blizzard, actually it was late Friday night, this whole thing happened. So anyway, back to this whole thing. Yes, you can get a, um, you can get a cash out refinance on investment property if you work with the best, with the lender, just have to be prepared for what those costs are going to be like. It's gonna cost you more. They're going to be more critical on the values and not every lender is going to do it. So. If you want some more information um, on some of my burr deals, I've got a video that talks all about burrs and that can help you. If you want some help to get into real estate and on those burr deals like we talked about, one thing you've just got to keep in mind is on the burr deals, you've got to find a really, really good deal. And so if you'd like some help finding a really, really good deal, check us out at dohardmoney.com. We've got some software that can help you do it. Okay, so you've got to find a really, really good deal if you want one of these burr methods to actually work out for you. That's the thing most people mess up on is they don't find a really, really good deal. And one of the things we can do at Do Hard Money, we have some software called Investor's Edge Software. And with Investor's Edge Software, it can help you find properties um, that you can get discounts on because of the condition or because of um, the, the way the property is or they're not gonna be able to sell it on a traditional method. So that can help you out. So check it out over at dohardmoney.com. Um, we had, can help you with finding properties, valuing properties. We can help you out with money, uh, you name it. Check us out over at dohardmoney.com. Uh, like I said, check out the video um, with the Burr Method and if you you like this video the biggest compliment you could give me is um, you could give me a thumbs up it tells the YouTube logarithms that I've done a great job and there more content like this should be shown so please hit the thumbs up button especially as we start heading through the car wash here holy cow um, as we start heading through the car wash here hit the thumbs up button tell me you appreciated this video if you've got a question you'd like to have me answer type it in the comments below and let's see here otherwise make it a very profitable day and bye for now.